All right, time for another draftphysics.com, debatephysics.com also, but yeah, it's nothing. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, I'm still doing shit of I still have one more video to do, uh, but you know, I have a lifetime band. Maybe I'll just make this a lifetime uh, point that, um, you know, should a pedia colossally failed? That's just the fact. I'm demonstrated their colossal failure. Uh, you know, to recognize that it's not popular opinion against unpopular opinion. All right, that science is supposed to be about evidenced opinions. Uh, and clearly they didn't care about uh, what opinion or what theory or what story uh, was better evidenced. They just cared about what story is better more popular, period. So, <clears throat> that's really not good. <laughs> okay, popularity shouldn't be the standard, and it certainly shouldn't be the only standard. But morons, being what morons are, uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry, they can't figure that out. Smart people can't figure that one out. Okay, too stupid. Yeah, there's a lot of lag in the other cameras in there. Whoa. Well, probably can live with that. Anyway, all right, so I thought I would start with just something that just, you know, it's a reoccurring point. And, uh, I've been over it and over it, but I mean, it's just, it's, it just sits there and glares at me until somebody um, makes some sort of rational argument that, you know, that would include hopefully some shred of evidence really probably should fix the shitty camera oh it'll probably freeze <laughs> yeah the hell with it we'll leave it alone anyway um so the lever okay the lever oh, and so the idealization so they, they usually show it by moving the fulcrum which is sort of bullshit right because well, then you're changing how much mass, you know, the lever has on one side versus the other side. And in gravity, of course, that would make a difference. Now, horizontally, it's still going to make some difference in the sense that you're moving one half the lever, but you're still moving the other half, so it doesn't matter as much. So let's always think, well, let's think for the purpose of the argument, horizontal motion just because that eliminates any of the catches that might come up with gravity and velocities. Um, and the simple argument is is that <coughs> is that you can just, with by the law of the lever, you can just do this by distance, and you know that you can put whatever you want to in, and you can ch completely change its direction. So we know that changing something's direction, no big deal. Okay, so... Something can go in going this way, something goes out going this way. Saying they subtract would be kind of silly, okay? <laughs> Saying there was no energy would be silly. Um, you know, the concession is is that direction isn't a thing, okay? Um, and what the law clearly states is I go twice the distance, I will get twice the velocity, okay, if... Okay, I have half the mass. So if I go from a full mass here to a half mass here, okay, I can have the expectation that I'll conserve momentum. They all say it. So like, like, there's no video I've seen so far. So if somebody wants to link me to a video that talks about the lever and talks about conservation of kinetic energy, because clearly they always talk about conservation of momentum because that's what it does. And it does it very effectively, and that's why it's a thing. So they all talk about a word called a mechanical advantage, but they'll all qualify that statement by saying it doesn't make energy. Okay, so obviously it makes an equal amount of momentum in a lighter object, which means you have in fact made free kinetic energy. So obviously that's the problem here. Is you get 2x the kinetic energy out that you put in. Okay. So that doesn't work. And some idea, okay, that the lever fails to function, fails to conserve momentum, and somehow it's only 
1.4 the velocity for the half mass object leaving the lever. So we don't have any experimental evidence and every single video <coughs> just basically talks about this simple rule. And it's an idealization, okay, because you always, always have to understand you have to move the weight of the lever. So the mass of the lever has to take some of the energy. Can't avoid it. Just like the mass of the spring and the movement of the spring has to consume some of the spring's energy. You don't get it for free, all right? But you can minimize that amount of motion, okay, in the lever <coughs> by having a high ratio between the mass <coughs> of the lever and the mass of the objects. So obviously you start getting into a 10 to one relationship between this mass and the mass of the lever, then the defect of the lever isn't gonna steal much energy. But the simple argument could be made that you do have to make an adjustment in positions to compensate, like in the real world. You have to adjust the position to create the ideal motion uh, because your velocity won't be quite twice the velocity because you can't undo the motion of the lever and the fact that it stole some of your energy. It's going to keep turning in other words. The lever has no reason to stop moving so obviously once you start it moving it continues to move and it will consume a commensurate amount of energy related to that velocity. Uh, but it will be the same exact amount of energy from this position as it will be from this position because the speed of the whole lever will be identical in the two circumstances. So uh, one mass here, the lever moves identically in these two experiments. I put a half mass out here, or one mass here, identical motion. And as I stated, if you pushed on this side of the lever, you're not gonna be able to tell the difference between a one mass and a two mass for, for twice as far, especially in gravity, <laughs> okay. Now pushing sideways, there's no pressure. You know, well, there is pressure, it's just that it's not gravitational. You don't have any, you're not overcoming a force, so it's going to feel lighter, obviously, when you're pushing it. Uh, linearly than pushing it against gravity. So obviously pushing sideways is easier to do than pushing up. Uh, you know, in all circumstances, that could be a rule. But it would take the same force from you, the same spring, for example, all right, to create the two circumstances. So it clearly illustrates, and again, this was argued 300 years ago, now, not in this detail, unfortunately, and not in videos, right? Everything had to be written and in letters, very few drawings, um, and such a real defect in how physics was argued in the past. But, I mean, clearly the argument was made that if levers conserve momentum, which they do, uh, kinetic energy makes a horrible mess of the concept because you end up destroying kinetic energy one way and making kinetic energy the other way. And you can't do that. So if somebody wants to make this counter argument, if they want to show some reason to believe this 1.4 thing happens, that somehow this only goes 0.4 faster, so the half mass doesn't go twice as fast, it only goes 0.4. That's what it takes all right, to get back to your one that went in your one unit of energy is you have to multiply this half times 1.4 to conserve the kinetic energy. And the 1.4 is really just 0.4, right? You're just adding 0.4 worth of velocity. So it's not like it goes twice as fast. It goes less than, okay, a half faster. So it's not 0.6, it's 0.4. It's uh, terribly. So they're almost arguing that if you picked up a 16-pound bowling ball and threw it, or, or pushed it, that somehow, if you applied the same force to an 8-pound bowling ball, the 8-pound bowling ball only goes 1.4 faster. Nowhere even close to twice as fast. Funny how this thing runs out of ink in the strangest ways. Anyway, all right, so I think I'll just leave it at that, I'll start with that argument, because it's just... 
these are the kind of paradoxical, you must have a solution, you know, we don't have the real experiment. I mean, we do have it. I mean, Brozo did it, all right? <laughs> he pretty much got the results of twice the velocity for the half mass, mm -hmm. damn close to it. And um, especially when you consider the mass of the lever. Uh, and, uh, you know, then we have the physicist, Michael, who made a mess out of it, you know, put clay on it and did different stupid things to ruin the experiment. Um, but, I mean, it's such a basic experiment. It should be somewhere online, you would think. And it's just very disappointing that it's not. Let's see, is there anything else that needs to be said about how you do this? So this one doesn't matter where the fulcrum is. It doesn't matter whether you have a fulcrum a point fulcrum at the bottom or you have a suspension fulcrum from the top. It doesn't matter how <laughs> you know, because it's doesn't have anything to do with creating a balance. It doesn't have to, the force doesn't have to go in and then the force have to be um, nullified by extra mass on this side of the lever. So um, all of those arguments go away because it's, you know, you don't have to do it in gravity. All right. Yeah, but it wouldn't matter in this case because you're not requiring it to balance. You're just requiring the energy on one side to create energy on the other side. All right. So I won't talk it to death. So I guess I'll read some comments on the... the, <laughs> the um, yeah, the, the website comments. And they're just, you know... Look, there's trolls, there's morons, but I mean, these people who play these games, so these people who play this game with, you know, doxing me, you know, because they can't make an argument, and I've ha I've explained that, look, I, you know, how much do I care? Not much at all. Um, it's my preference not to have people show up at my house, okay? Now, it's happened six, seven times, maybe. All right, now, three times with cops at my house, and another four times where people just showed up at my house, okay, <laughs> because they saw me online. Um, now, you don't think that's a little creepy. <laughs> well, then you're a liar, okay. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, you're a liar if you don't think you really wouldn't want that to happen to you. Um, uh, it just shows your vulnerability, right? That it's that easy. They can just drive up park their car in front of your house and you know essentially invite themselves into your life um so it's not just it's not a nothing thing okay now uh yeah it's not against the law apparently but <laughs> you know it's obviously just a malicious thing to do right my name and address is not relevant to any of this it shouldn't involve the town or it shouldn't involve my neighbors you know, we have no need to do any of this. Let's not burn crosses in my yard and all of this horse shit. And it's just absolute, the lowest grade, despicably cheap, you know. And the fact that the other, the dissidents have absolutely no interest in making it clear that they don't think those tactics are appropriate. So the people who, energizing these people full of this oh, we have to do something about this guy. He's He's got an alternate opinion about how physics works. I mean, it's not even like you're attacking a religion here. Oh, well, maybe it is that you're attacking a religion. It's sacred, all right? Um, he's a racist against our physics. Yeah. <laughs> it's just so insanely out of proportion. And yes, you incite people who are of limited mental stability. And it's just a fact. And to, and to pretend you don't know that fact, that what you're doing is inciting um, and, and um, you're the true deceiver, you're the true dishonest person playing a cheap, um, you know, a cheater's game. Because you can't play a real man's game. Okay, just making that clear. So I just, I'll just read the one, you know, so this moron post on, you know, on the, on the board. Uh, hey brother, I'm heading down to where I live. 
uh, this summer. I'll pay you a little visit. Okay, now, veiled, okay? He's not, oh, he's not directly threatening me, but what the fuck is that, really? <laughs> For what? So I can punch you in the face, kick you in the balls, shove you down the sewer? I mean, what exactly is my reaction to you showing up at my house? Supposed to be, but maybe, <laughs> you know... Everybody on this street, by the way, is armed, okay? <laughs> they all have cameras, and they're all armed. So, so uh, you know, even though I'm not at myself a gun nut, you know, maybe one of them can see you as a target. I mean, it's just so bullshit. You know, no, I'm not interested in any visit for face. Oh, God damn. But this is the shit these people, you know, they make this, they regularize this kind of behavior. This behavior shouldn't be regularized. Somebody posting a comment that they're going to show up at your house is not behavior to regularize. Oh, you stupid, ignorant fucks. All right, so anyway, 40 seconds into this video, he says, wavelength of light is, a thousand, is thousands of times larger than atoms. Well, it's an absolute fact. So, so he posts a link to a silence asylum video where he's talking about all this, you know, the bullshit of superposition, all kinds of weird shit that doesn't really have a fucking thing to do with photons or energy or anything rational. Is this one right? Yeah. And, um, you know, that's his, his evidence, is a silence asylum video on the most insanely silly part of regular physics. You know, all of the wooey um, orbitals, you know, all, all the, the, the horse shit. Uh, you know, it's not in one place, it's in 400 million places, and it's probabilities, and, uh, you know, all just absolute bullshit, all right? But his premise is that there's something wrong with the fundamental, the simple statement okay that we know this about a photon right we know how big the average atom is all right it's called one half of a nanometer okay that's how big it is all right so that's not too challenging and then you know that the average visible hunk of light is 500 okay nanometers of distance in the at the speed of light the frequency at the speed of light, you'll travel 500 nanometers. Now, polarization is entirely related to frequency. Okay, so the two things are very similar. So that's why antennas, uh, like radio, has a very big polarization. Uh, microwaves, you get down to like three uh, centimeters, you know, and you get smaller and smaller as you go higher and higher. The polarization is uh, at least proportional or related to uh, the frequency. And so you can make the argument that, yes, the polarization is somewhere around this number, which means when the photon is hitting the surface, okay, the atom is this big, right? And the photon is this big. Let's just draw it this way, I guess. All right, the polarization of the photon is enormous okay in terms of it's a thousand times the size of the atom so obviously when photons hit a surface they're doing something to the surface they're not hitting one electron inside of one atom that doesn't make a photon you have to cause an event to take place in the surface and the event is what we know as electricity right so we already kind of know part of this truth that we detect photons by converting them into electricity. That's the number one way to detect a photon is to detect the electricity it causes on, upon hitting a surface. And so it's an event. The photon creates a bit of energy in an atom and it creates a bit of energy in an atom, a bit of energy and a bit of energy. Should have done that the other way around actually. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger. You're adding energy to the surface in a way that's the tipping point argument okay <laughs> where you're hitting creating a little more velocity for the electron then you hit again before the electron can go back 
So you're adding to its velocity, and then you add to its velocity, and then you add to the velocity. So you're pumping energy in to get to a speed of an electron that's fast enough to eject it from the atom, or, well, eject it from the atom is the electricity, and, or eject it from the surface if you go past ultraviolet. Um, you know, if you go to ultraviolet and higher, you'll start ejecting electrons because you've given them so much momentum, so much velocity. Um, so there's absolutely nothing wrong with this theory, okay, this statement. It's just idiotic to sit there and pretend you've got some counter-argument somewhere in physics that says this frequency isn't, okay, larger than an atom, a thousand times larger, and that the polarization that would go with that is likely to be a thousand times larger than the atom also. Those facts aren't debatable. I mean, they're just, there's people just so arrogant. They just spout crap like somehow it's been proven otherwise when it hasn't. Okay. All right. It says, you have said the same with regard to polarization. So, yes. And I'll continue to say it because it's the truth. And so then he provides a link, like I said, to an asylum, asylum video. I could play it, but it's just, it's all woo. I don't think it's worth the, I don't think it's worth wasting any time on because it's all crap that has nothing to do with actual photons in the real fucking world or surfaces. It just has to do with math and probabilities. All right, you finally accepted. So this is you know these these lies, okay? Uh, that the beam has to be suspended. It doesn't have to be just suspended. It has to be suspended from above the mass. Oh, God damn. In order to show this oscillating. So it's accepted from who? So, you know, these cowards will never provide a quote. Who said the, who had the right answer in the beginning? Who? I mean, certainly, uh, uh, Gosling made a whole bunch of videos that were just absolute nonsense about rotation, all kinds of other nonsense. They didn't have anything to do with why. Okay, uh, a lever suspended on top of a fulcrum doesn't balance, doesn't create a scale, but one suspended from the top does. Okay. All right. Um, you denied it before. So again, just lies. I never denied anything. Okay. All I said was, is clearly the lever I made was a balance. So the fact was, I was suspended. I was, my fulcrum was above the mass, not below the mass. And that's all that matters. Above, below. Above, the rules change. That is, this side, when it goes up, gets heavier. So if I suspend it from above, when this side goes up, it gets heavier. There's more mass on this side than there is that side of parallel, of the, um, what do they call this? The neutral, the... The normal, okay? So more mass is on this side, okay, when this side goes up. So obviously when it's gaining mass, it slows down and stops and then swings back down again because there's more mass on this side when it moves. I suspend it from down here. No, it's exactly the opposite, which means this side gets heavier as it goes down instead of getting heavier as it goes up. So obviously it wants to just keep going. Big difference. <clears throat> I mean, they really should make teeter totters, right? Right? They all, they, they generally speaking, make them with by just boring in the center or have them suspended on top of a, a, a with the math on, mass on top, and they really should suspend them from above, and then they would work so much better. It'd be so much easier to balance them. Because any time you were quiet, they would balance. The energy would always dissipate out of them. Where if they do it from the bottom, now it's either this way or this way, and this way is a lot more difficult. You have to have just right. And no movement. <laughs> you know, any movement will take you all the way down. It doesn't stay balanced. All right. Um, 
See, then you change your story to pretend you were never wrong. So I didn't change any story. It's all lying. You won't provide any links to a story change. I didn't change the story, so fuck you. We all came into this a bit ignorant, all right? And through the process of talking about it and watching it and, and you know, analyzing different experiments, we all figured it out, okay, eventually. Now, I'd say I figured out the bulk of it, uh, <laughs> and I had the right answers and my diagnosis of how it works. Um, and those are the facts, liar. No, oh, people just, it's just, this is how bad it is that this group of people has to just do this, you know, sell these lies. All right, and then he says, if you come down, can't, no, that's a different one. Okay, go to a park. Do you see the seesaws oscillating on their own? So, where did anybody suggest it could oscillate without you putting energy in? And clearly, seesaws won't work. Number one, they're heavy as fuck. Okay, so they're always, you know, it's going to be very unlikely that you're going to have a seesaw that'll stay balanced over time or anything like that. And you're moving a lot of wood. So any energy you put into one, obviously, a lot of that energy is lost at moving the 50 pound piece of wood 100 pound maybe who, who knows how big those planks weigh it's a lot of weight so you're dissipating the energy into a huge object all right that is again being suspended from the wrong side of the mass okay so of course they don't oscillate well for the reasons i have pointed out okay so this appears to be somebody different. I guess I could have checked, but I didn't check the IP addresses. But anyway, hello, I'm someone who has uh, liked and agreed with you for many years. But, you know, however, he says instead of but, uh, you know, I'm not interested. You know, I'm really not. Um, you know, backseat drivers, uh, whatever this bullshit's going to be. Um, you know, I'm not going to say fuck you. But you could send an email, you know, if you've got some little secret thing. Oh, there's a booger hanging out of your nose or something. You want to explain that to me? Uh, whatever, you know, your advice. You could do it in a non-public way. Now, why are you doing it on this website? Well, probably because you've been blocked. So even if you're someone who's liked and agreed with me, you haven't done it very well, okay, <laughs> apparently, or politely. So, hmm. How seriously should I take this comment? Oh, that's right. Pretty much not at all. Ugh, liar, liar. Okay, so just more lies. Uh, you people just can't get along without them. I feel as though you uh, let your own ego get the better of you so often. So whatever that is, it's a generic term, you know, that somebody's vain or narcissistic or some other bullshit. They're physics arguments, fuckhead. Now, do you mean the fuckhead part where I think you're dumb and stupid and almost imbecilically silly to sit there and waste my time with this bullshit? <laughs> you know, is that the part that you think is my ego problem? No, I think it's your ego problem, fuckhead. Your need to do this shit. I've never posted anything like this on somebody's video in my life. I've figured out that they probably know anything I know to say to them about their performance their, or their personality. I'm sure they're already aware of it. Now, let's say that I do have some defects. I say, you know too much. I go, uh, you know, I make noises. <laughs> uh, yes, yeah, so, so yeah, I'm not perfect. Um, I'm not going to change, you dumb fuck. I mean, I'm really not going to, you know, <laughs> go to your acting school, okay, your acting school, you know, dumb fuckers acting school to figure out how I have to behave to satisfy you. I mean, God damn it. All right, your arguments are strong and valid, so who says so? You. 
<laughs> yo, yo, do you think your opinion can mean anything to me? You don't qualify who the fuck you are, you little gutless coward. So I make 20,000 videos over the last 20 years, um, basically exposed most every bit of my life and who I was and why I was and everything about me. You provide zero. And yet I'm supposed to give a fuck uh, what your opinion about something is when I can't test your opinion. <laughs> you know, I can't see that you're not some god bother or some other bullshit. Who the fuck knows what kind of judgment skills you have? So it just means nothing, right? For somebody who has no taste, there's no point in somebody who has no taste saying, like somebody who thinks, <laughs> yo, yo, I remember a girl did this, right? Where, you know, she sort of said I was hot. But then she said Donald Trump was hot. You know, and it almost made me vomit. I was like, holy fuck. You know, what's the point in here indicating any attractiveness towards me when, <laughs> when she just disqualified her judgment, right? She obviously is, you know, she, she's obviously a vomit eater. I mean, <laughs> what, the, what the fuck? So, you know, it doesn't work. You just can't do this, this unqualified opinion about something. It's just useless. It has no fucking value. So fuck you and your statement about what strength my arguments have because I don't have any way of testing your capacity to know what an argument even is. All right, but you should consider communicating them better. You should consider f pulling your head out of your own little fucking ass and growing enough ball somewhere. See if you can grow a half a one or something. <laughs> you know, a little bit of ball momentum um, and man up and make videos. You having something to say, then, you know, say it, fucker. All right, be accountable. You're forcing me to be accountable. You be accountable. Let me pick at your little bullshit. You know, let me nitpick your existence, you little fuck. All right, <clears throat> why not start off your videos with something along the lines, hey, guys, because every fucking other asshole on the Internet's already said that, hasn't they? Haven't they already done that? Hi, YouTubers. I missed you so much. Oh, we have another exciting episode of bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. Fuck, 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 shit, 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 shit. It's going to be so much fucking goddamn fun. Subscribe. Ring the bells. So, so you, you, you think there's, there's not enough of that on the Internet? There's not enough insincere bullshit on the Internet. Oh, God. So right there. That's just like you saying, I think Donald Trump's hot. Okay, so, so you think Donald Trump's smart. I, I think Donald Trump has strong and valid arguments. So you've just disqualified yourself entirely. Now your judgment, instead of me just being uncertain and without good reason, untrusting. Okay, I'm not going to trust anything you say. Now you've made it clear you're an asshole. Okay, you have no judgment. If what you want is somebody to say, hey, guys, you're hopelessly fucked hearted. OK, <laughs> you know, hope you're all doing well today. So fuck this. Yeah. If you have to do that to somebody, then they're too stupid for anything else you have to say. If they need that to happen before you say something, they're not going to understand water is wet. Oh, fuck. It gives a good first impression to anyone who might be watching you for the first time. And they didn't notice that you drew physics arguments on the board. And they didn't notice that there are valid arguments that need a counter argument. They didn't notice any of that. But they were just wondering, uh, who does your hair? <laughs> oh, how did I end up on this planet of fucking just absolute shit-tart? Fuck this. Are all, how are you all doing today? <laughs> Give us a good first impression. <laughs> People who might be watching you for the first time and might make them more likely to listen to your arguments. So again, if this is a necessary, if that's what they expect from a science video, I don't think they're going to really be able to do any science. And really, physics isn't something you show up and say, oh, clue me in. Catch me up to speed. You know, in 10 minutes. 
People have to go to school for years, okay? Really, technically, you could almost argue you need a decade of of um, elemental introduction. I mean, you have to take, like, earth science in the fifth grade, and you have to do this. And, you know, you work your way up to this stuff. Um, you don't do this in a day. So, fuck you. All right, anyway, it doesn't help your cause that you often start your videos with a barrage of insults and complaints. Well, again, frankly, if somebody isn't sympathetic with the fact that we live in a shitiverse, okay, that the human race is fucking itself. I mean, it is, it is literally fucking itself. I mean, it's embarrassing, okay, <laughs> what's going on. I mean, you wouldn't want the this videotape of humanity shown to the rest of the universe. This is so fucktarded, all right? It's disgraceful what's going on on this planet. And for you <laughs> to think that there's all these happy, pappy people who are just saying, oh, gee, I just want some candy. Give me some more candy to lick and, you know, comfort me. No. If they're not empathetic to the fact that, yes, everything sucks and should be so much fucking better than it is. Everything's tainted by everybody's greed and their, ew, it's just disgusting that everything is covered in lies and deceptions. Every fucking commercial is just a lie and a horse shit. That doesn't bother you? Oh, fuck you. Uh, about how people won't debate. <clears throat> well, it's just an absolute fact that should be pointed out that I actually am paying. I'm trying to pay people to show up. I mean, I'll pay a regular person, okay, who has nothing to lose in the sense that they don't have a 50,000 subscribers to lose or something like that, some reputation to lose. I'll pay the regular guys. I'll pay them 100 bucks an hour, whatever. And I've offered thousands of dollars to the professionals, okay, to do an hour's work, right? I mean, debunking me shouldn't require any research at all almost, right? How much research should you have to do to be able to debunk me, right? If I'm so wrong, if I'm so fucking wrong, they should be able to debunk me without even trying. Four grand for an hour's work, you wouldn't take the money? So it's a significant fact, fuckhead. It's, it's the glaring fact in this whole argument. It's the fact that I've offered these 50 channels thousands of dollars to debate, and they won't do it. All right. And it definitely doesn't help when you have uh, abusive video titles and thumbnails. So... Compared to all the thumbnails out there, right? So all the lie thumbnails, right? Just where they take some movie star's name and say how he ate 14 people on a Japanese island. You know, you know, all this, all the bullshit that's out there, you know, and then all the stuff that is just, you know, it's all just cotton candy. And it's all, or else even they're selling some political cause, like they're going to cure something or they're going to fix something or they're going to fight for justice you know, a little justice warring, and it's all, subscribe, ring the bell, you know, we got to fight the cause, we got to, you know, to support us so we can keep fight, 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 because, you know, you pay me, and, you know, I get to eat pizza, you know, so it's really cool, the cause, the cause is really cool, because, you know, I get to buy pizza, yeah, with your money, <laughs> supporting me in the cause, cause, <laughs> yeah, no, there's no cause, uh, there's just antics, just pantomime causing, you know, the, all the, all these little cheap, this, this fake, you know, all, all this, you know, you have to be a kind of an older person to just realize how fake it all is, right? Or all the, the, it's all been there, done that. Oh, we've been there and done this, haven't we? The racist thing or the, you know, now the new, the new thing is the Jews again. And, oh, we got a bit, 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 because of Israel. And the people don't even know what they're fighting. They don't even know who they're fighting. <laughs> you know, it's so ridiculous. What are you defending? Okay, there's no, there's no good side in the argument, is there? there there's no, there's, there's no, like... Dr. Good against evil. There's no, you know, it's not, it's evil against evil. It's corrupt against corrupt. It's, you know, bullshit against bullshit. It's giant douche shit sandwich all the way down, right from the 
presidential election right to every other subject. Uh, the two sides of the subject is giant douche fighting shit sandwich. Uh, <clears throat> I have long had the impression that you thrive off of conflict. Well, then, so it's another piece of your fucking judgment we could throw in the garbage. I thrive, okay, like any animal challenged. So, dare me. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, you know, I, I, yes, I, 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 I am in a tug of war with life and always have been. And so, yes, it starts pulling me. I dig in. I pull. Okay, that's what you do. Um, I could even think of this more like just a puzzle-solving game. Uh, it's a pinball machine, right? And, you know, <laughs> the pinball machine is being a jerk. Okay, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm you know, I'm going to, it's challenged me, okay, with some bullshit. And I'm going to figure out the catch and the way around it. And uh, I'm going to beat the machine until it gives my little click sound. I know I got my free quarter. It's not just about the free quarter, right? Even if the machine never gave you a free game, you'd still probably play it, right? See, I don't know. See, my history in pinball was just that, right? I mean, I would show up with one quarter. And that's, that's actually, you know, and I'd spend four hours playing that quarter. You know, it's 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 a true story. Okay. Uh, you know, I tell you know, playing pool, the, you know, the same thing. You know, you just you take your wings from the first guy and you just play it. And, you know, you keep taking on the challenge, and that's what life is. It's this challenge thing, you stupid fuck. So I don't thrive. Okay, it's not it's not the fun part of life. The the fun part isn't the difficult part. You know. Yeah, you, know, you know, fun is easy. Okay, life is hard. Okay, <laughs> because life isn't about you can't just wank all day, right? So you have to do some of this real life shit. Um, it sucks you in anyway. Uh, <laughs> you know, between, and and that's it. But there's nothing. There's nothing. What are, what are you living for, you piece of shit? I mean, I just again having no context for what kind of stupid piece of garbage you are as a human being to sit there and tout your little, you know, got your little doctor's mirror on and you're going to diagnose everything. Yeah, fuck you. Where'd you get that doctor's degree? You know, it was written on your lunchbox when you were a kid. You had a doctor kill there. Lunchbox. I don't know. Uh, rather than on success. Okay. I mean, it's just amazing bullshit. Um, my obligation is to play a good game, and that's what I'm doing. There's no other way to look at it except, yes, I'm playing the good game. There's no other game to play. Again, and if, unless you're saying, I should fake my existence. I should, I should pretend to be somebody else. <laughs> yeah, that's what I should do. Fuck you. All right. In my defense of honesty and integrity and the truth... I should be a liar. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Oh, just amazing. Regarding changing minds and such like, you change minds with the argument. If you're changing it with something else, you're not doing anything good. You don't want people riding the bandwagon. You want people driving the bandwagon. Okay, you want to solicit drivers and wheel greasers and... You know, people who are going to throw pitchforks. You don't want some asshole playing his banjo. That's not useful. Have a nice day and all. I mean, just fuck you. <laughs> yeah, so get what you deserve, you piece of garbage. You liar, you fake, you troll, whatever the fuck you are. God damn it. Yeah. <sighs> Live your dream of being a piece of asphalt. Okay. So then there was the, you know, back to irrational stuff. If you come down, can you give a ride? There is an air track I found on Craigslist that I want to check out. I mean, just amazing. What is this stuff? Uh, let's see. Maybe it is time I do some more collaboration videos.
What the fuck are you talking about, you weirdo? Will you be prepared to debate physics? Every fucking video I make is an argument. Illustrated. There's your opportunity. I've illustrated an argument. You make a counter argument with a commensurate logic illustration. If you can't do it with the commensurate illustration, then there's no point in making the argument. Oh, amazing. Uh, let's see. So we got enough. The rest is all stuff about niggers and women, <clears throat> American women. Uh, they're all butthurt, apparently. You know, so he's... <laughs> yeah, so he's a racist and a chauvinist. So obviously one of these people that has, you know, he thinks, <laughs> you know, uh, it's the, the rest of the world owes him something. Um, and then he starts talking about shoving bottles up pussies. And so these are the kind of people you're inspiring. Okay, just letting the opposition know these are the the you know, intellectual giants you're inspiring with your fucking rhetoric. Okay, your excessive, retarded, silly, stupid, nonsensical rhetoric. All right. Oh, this amazing. Fucking idiotic planet. All right, so that's enough of a video. <laughs> I wash my hands. <laughs> yeah. People are just it's so bad. Well, I could just check my channel, see so see the physics, see if there's anything on the draft science and YouTube channel comments. No, nothing new. Alright, so till the next time and such and so forth and whatnot. Do hate it here on Earth. Just a horrible. Um, hmm. Trying to think of the right word for the, <laughs> you know, the, this, 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 slaves, scum, hovel. Um, yeah, yeah, just a terrible place to live. Earth. <laughs>